once you start this morning off with a little adventure. <laughs> and I'd say we definitely found it. Definitely. There's nothing like seeing the sunrise on a nice morning walk. It was such a nice walk. And this is insane! This is crazy! You ready for the next part of our adventure? I am so ready for the next part. We're up in the mountains of San Cristobal, Mexico right now. And as you can tell, it's very, very cold here right now. And we're gonna drive down the mountain mm -hmm. into a canyon today. There's so much for us to go see. You ready to do this? Let's do it! Let's go! We left the mountaintops of San Cristobal and started driving southwest towards Chiapas de Corzo, which is a little town outside of Tuxla. We hopped on the highway and just immediately started going downhill because we were up at 7,000 feet. And Chiapas de Corzo is, I think, about 2,000 feet. So we hopped on the highway, never took our foot off the gas pedal once, and just continued to descend and descend for about an hour. And as we were driving, as we are looking out our windows, there was nothing but smoke. There were forest fires all around us. It's kind of like this dry, arid, foresty climate, and you really couldn't see much because it was just full of smoke. But as we continued to dip down, the smoke started to clear a little bit, but the temperature started going through the roof. And we finally, we just pulled in to Chiapas de Corzo, and it's about 95. So we're back to the hot, sticky, humid environment that we're used to in Mexico. But the good news is we're gonna be hopping on a boat. There's a canyon that we're gonna be traveling through. And we're gonna be doing this with some friends. So it just so happens that there's two friends of ours that happen to be in the same town that we're in, that happen to be traveling in a van, and that also happen to make YouTube videos like us. I think a lot of you guys probably already know them, but we're gonna go say hey right now. Yeah, there's a Mac's. Hello. Oh, what's up guys? What? No way. That's real, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, what was your last bag, dude? When was... <laughs> oh my is, god. Is it sooner than you care to admit? Uh, no, last bag? When was the last bag? A long time ago. Who got this for us? Aww, thank you guys! So it's super awesome being able to meet up with some other van life friends and go on a little adventure together, huh? Oh yeah, so those of you guys who don't know who these guys are, these are the matinees. We met with them probably like 18 Over. months ago yeah. in California. My name is actually Aubrey and this is Christian. I'm just the chauffeur. And, uh, <laughs> there are taxi chauffeur. drivers. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and uh, this is our van Morrison. Woohoo, yeah. Morrison. So it's always awesome hanging out with other van lifers. We're gonna hop on a boat right now and we're going on a pretty sweet adventure. We're just walking through this sweet little town. It's a little Pueblo, Mexico, which means that it's like a beautiful city with a lot of culture, a place that tourists should go and visit. So we're here. And there's also a lot of very beautiful straw hats, so that is going to be my uh, mission for the day. That guy just said they're $25. 25 US dollars? Yes. Well, maybe we can find some shit ones. We'll see what we can find. Talk to Thomas. Adios. Crocodile over there. Oh, crikey, you see that? What? It's a bloody crocodile. See that crocodile? Oh my god. Oh, crikey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys think of those crocodiles? That was insane, you guys. Do you see those monkeys? They like wanted to come hang out with us. I know. And then how about the locals swimming in the water with, with the, the crocodiles? crocodiles? I know. Yeah. Crazy. I don't think we're gonna be swimming in this water anytime soon. Have you seen when you see their little teeth? These things are sharp. We couldn't help 
but pass up a nice Coco Frio coffee. So Hold on one sec. What are you guys doing over here? Hola, buenas tardes. Oh, just getting some coffee, you know how it is. Wait, she was so much more authentic, she actually spoke Spanish. <laughs> you just spoke Hola, English. buenos dias. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's an Oreo wrap. Is there coffee in it? I don't know. I'm I, don't so. I don't even care. <laughs> this is totally necessary on days like this. We've been Absolutely. living off of smoothies, and nice coffees, and now that we're back in the heat again, we just went right back to what we know best. This is probably the best mocha I have ever seen in my entire life. You've been looking for that like this for a while. I know, I just noticed that. Mine doesn't have a bead. Dude, that means you shouldn't get it because Trent is the worst taste in hats out of anyone. Uh, well, let's point true. out the hats that Trent thinks you should have gotten. Trent thinks you should have gotten this bonnet, this orange one, and the pom poms. And the pom poms. <laughs> oh my god, look how cute we are. What are new hats? I love it. Woo! <laughs> Feel like a true Mexican now. Mexicanas. Mexi Mexicana, si, senor. <laughs> so everyone has a hat except for Jonanto. My head's too big. <laughs> and that really I'm is like the true reason. Freakishly large. So are my shoes. We can't find shoes that fit you. We can't find hats that fit him. <laughs> All right, homies. As much fun as today was. We're dying. It's way too hot here. Way too freaking hot. Look at this. <clears throat> Hundred and two degrees. No bueno. So we're heading back to San Cristobal. It's about an hour drive north from here. You guys want to see what happens in just one hour of driving? Just like that, 73 degrees, baby. Whoo, that and relief, baby. Feels so good. So good. But now, we're gonna show you guys a little bit of San Cristobal, get a little bit of dinner, and check out probably the weirdest city we've ever been to in Mexico. But by far, my favorite. By far a favorite. Maybe we're a little bit weird. Oh, for sure. Let's check it out. Back at the bus, snug as a bug. I'm making tea over here. Jordan's about to pass out. I'm sleepy. Oh, what do you guys think about our new comforter? We went to the laundromat and our big comforter that is all white, that we had to get bleached, because there was a bunch of stains on it, was not dry yet, unfortunately. So we just went in the supermarket and bought the cheapest comforter we could find. So. We didn't know when we bought it, but it's actually double-sided. So this is this is the side I like. I didn't even see this side when we bought it. This is the side. How ugly is that? George picked that oh one out. Oh my god, it's for one night, dude. <laughs> it's all good. I'm just grateful that we have a comforter to sleep with tonight. It is cold where we're at. It's already in like the 40s right now. So, we're happy you guys came along for the day. And we'll see you guys in a couple days. All right, homies. Peace out. Adios. We love y'all.